Hey everybody, this is Terry Kelly with the Florida Coastal Team at EXP Realty. Welcome to our blog, Empowering Real Estate Agents to Succeed. And today the topic I want to focus on is return on investment. How much money are we really making? So hang on, let's have a discussion. Maybe we can share some ideas and uh, get, get even better at what we do. Okay, so we're spending money on leads. We're generating some business. We've got things going. It just doesn't seem to be working like we thought it should. Well, one of the problems that we have when this happens is that we're tracking our business on emotion. I've got a lot of listings. I've got a lot of showings. I'm writing a lot of offers. I'm doing all these things, but I just don't seem to be getting ahead financially. And that can happen if we're not tracking the return on investment. How much money am I spending on generating leads? And how many of those leads that are generated through that platform are actually making money for me? Uh, we spent, we're one of those guys that spent six to $8,000 a month on Zillow leads back in the day. And we tracked that and had a great return on investment. I think we were running almost a seven or eight uh, time return on investment. But uh, as they changed their platform a little bit, things changed and we noticed that we, we dropped down to the two to one ratio. So we were spending, you know, $8,000 a month trying to generate, you know, 16,000 in incomes. It just didn't make any sense for us because we like to 10 times any return on investment, that uh, any investments we make. So we wouldn't have known that if we hadn't been tracking the numbers. And that's what, that's what this is all about today. If you're in business, you need to track your numbers. It doesn't have to be elaborate. There's a lot of platforms out there. I think I think I Googled uh, uh, tracking systems for realtors and it was 243 million hits. So there's a lot of opportunity and things out there that you can do, uh, use and a lot of them cost money. But I found, I use a simple spreadsheet actually that we have a team of 18 and do around 200 uh, properties a year. So we can track large volumes of business on a simple spreadsheet. So anyway, if I didn't track that, it would be really easy for me to go off on emotion thinking I'm doing good. You know, we've got all this stuff going on and the reality is we're not making any money. So tracking your return on investment, seeing what your expenses are, seeing what your return on those expenses are will allow you to make better business decisions. So hopefully today I've inspired you a little bit to start tracking those numbers. Uh, if you want to track, if you don't track and you want to now, uh, I have a little spreadsheet I pass out. I think I've passed out over 250 copies of it so far that you can use to track your business uh, as you continue to grow. Now you may want to get more elaborate later on, but for right now, like I say, we track around 200 transactions a year using a simple spreadsheet. So anyway, Hope this uh, gets you thinking about your business, how you can track it better, how you can make improvements. And if you have any questions or if you'd like that spreadsheet I was talking about, just reach out to me and I'll get it to you. So have a blessed day.